There are strange flickers of light in the early universe, mysterious voids in the cosmic microwave background, and black holes so massive they shouldn't even exist. Unless they came from somewhere else entirely. One of the biggest bombshells? Fully formed galaxies showing up way too early. According to established theories, it should have taken hundreds of millions of years for stable galaxies to emerge from the hot, dense chaos of the young universe. But the Webb telescope is finding dozens of massive, organized galaxies, already thriving just 300 to 400 million years after the Big Bang. In short, what we're seeing isn't just surprising, it's impossible under current models. And that's why some scientists now wonder, are we glimpsing the fingerprints of another universe? These galaxies aren't just surprising, they're downright miraculous. Not only do they exist far earlier than expected, but they also appear far more structured and mature than the current cosmological model can explain. Some scientists now believe these galaxies may be more than cosmic anomalies, they might be leftovers from a previous universe. This idea breathes new life into a bold theory proposed by British physicist Sir Roger Penrose. Back in 2015, Penrose introduced the concept of conformal cyclic cosmology, suggesting that our universe is just one in an endless cycle. According to conformal cyclic cosmology, each universe expands, evolves, and eventually fades away, only to spark the birth of the next. And here's the twist. Not everything from a dying universe may vanish. Penrose theorized that certain features, like density fluctuations or even actual structures of matter, could survive the collapse and reappear in the next universe. This could explain why galaxies in our own cosmos seem to have formed at lightning speed, faster than any standard model can account for. Researchers plan to aim Webb directly at the regions where these puzzling strange structures seem to have originated. The cosmic microwave background, the oldest light in the universe, is a faint glow left over from the Big Bang, stretching across space for roughly 13.8 billion years. Earlier missions like COBE, WMAP, and Planck have mapped the CMB with incredible precision and spotted some puzzling irregularities. Among the most mysterious? Circular patterns of temperature that just don't line up with the standard model of cosmology. Enter Sir Roger Penrose once again. He believes these odd circles may be hawking points, the last traces of supermassive black holes from a previous universe that evaporated via hawking radiation. According to his conformal cyclic cosmology, the end of each universe sees all black holes slowly vanish, leaving behind a nearly empty space. This barren space-time then seeds the birth of a new universe. If Penrose is right, those hawking points in the CMB might be ancient fingerprints from a universe long gone. It would mean the Big Bang wasn't the beginning of everything, but just the latest chapter in a vast, never-ending cycle of cosmic rebirths. And the Webb Telescope may already be finding further support for this awe-mind-bending idea. The faint traces in the background radiation, it's now picking up hints of something even more astonishing. Enormous black holes that shouldn't exist this early in the universe's history. Possibly the fossil remains of an earlier cosmos. As it peers deep into the cosmos' earliest moment, the Webb telescope has uncovered something that defies all expectations. Enormous black holes already in existence just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. These behemoths are just as baffling as the early mature galaxies we've discovered. According to everything we thought we knew, Black holes that massive should take billions of years to grow. Typically, black holes form from collapsing stars or gradually build up mass over eons by pulling in gas and dust. But the Webb Telescope is now spotting fully grown supermassive black holes in the universe's infancy, when stars were scarce and matter was only beginning to clump together. That should be impossible. If the universe is reborn in endless cycles, then some ancient black holes may have survived the death of a previous cosmos. These leftovers from a past universe could have carried over into the next cycle, explaining their surprising size and maturity so early on. One intriguing sign, these black holes aren't just big, they're active. They have well-formed accretion disks swirling with material they're currently consuming. But in a newborn universe with so little matter, 
what exactly are they feeding on? Another possibility? We might be seeing something even wilder, a place where multiple universes are overlapping. Instead of a simple before and after cosmic timeline, we could be witnessing the intersection of several universes, each with its own age, laws, and history briefly converging in space and time. Let's revisit one of the most puzzling features in the cosmic microwave background, the infamous cold spot. This massive, unusually chilly region stands out as colder than what our standard cosmological models say it should be. While small temperature fluctuations across the CMB are normal, caused by quantum jitters in the early universe, this cold spot is simply too vast and too cold to fit within those boundaries. Scientists have wrestled with this anomaly for years, and no conventional explanation quite fits. But one bold theory has gained serious attention. The cold spot might be a scar, a remnant of a cosmic collision, not with an asteroid, but with another universe. According to the multiverse theory, our universe could be just one bubble in a vast cosmic foam of countless other universes. Each one might follow its own set of physical laws, some filled with antimatter, others where time runs backward, or even a parallel universe that's a mirror image of our own. If our universe brushed up against another during its infancy, the cold spot could be the cosmic fingerprint left behind. Scientists are now turning the unmatched eye of the Webb telescope toward this chilling anomaly. By examining distant galaxies and strange structures within the cold spot, the Webb telescope may find odd light behavior, strange matter patterns, or even hints of unknown physics, evidence that we may not be alone in the cosmic neighborhood after all. The Webb telescope confirms the universe isn't expanding evenly. For decades, scientists have operated under a key assumption that the universe, on the grandest scales, behaves the same everywhere. This belief, called the cosmological principle, holds that the universe is both homogeneous and isotropic. But now, the Webb telescope is calling that into question. Recent data suggests that the universe may be expanding at different speeds in different regions, a finding that throws a wrench into the standard model of cosmology. And this anomaly could hint at something much wilder, the influence of another universe. One theory proposes that our universe is interacting with a neighboring universe, causing localized distortions in how space expands. Another idea is that we live in a bubble universe, part of a larger multiverse where each bubble operates under slightly different physical rules, including how fast it expands. This problem is known as the Hubble tension. Different methods of measuring the universe's expansion rate have given conflicting results. The Planck satellite, for instance, measured a slower expansion rate of 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec, while measurements based on supernovae gave a faster rate of 73. Scientists hoped the Webb telescope might settle the score. But instead of clarity, the Webb telescope confirmed the tension, proving that the discrepancy is real and not due to faulty measurements from older telescopes. Even more unsettling, the Webb telescope detected regional differences in how fast space is stretching. If this is proven true, it would be a cosmic crisis for our current models. It would mean the universe is not one uniform system, but a patchwork of varying expansion zones, possibly shaped by hidden forces or even the gravitational tug of another universe. And if that's the case, calculating anything across cosmic distances may become almost impossible. Picture this. Astronomers point the Webb telescope deep into the early universe, expecting to find faint glimmers of newborn stars and galaxies. Instead, they're hit with something shocking. Extremely bright objects lighting up the cosmos just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. These glowing anomalies are too luminous, too massive, and far too developed to fit into our current understanding of cosmic evolution. They simply shouldn't be there. Not this early, and not like this. At first glance, scientists thought they might be quasars, supermassive black holes surrounded by swirling disks of matter that shine incredibly brightly. But that theory quickly ran into trouble. According to established models, it takes hundreds of millions of years for such giant black holes to form. 
Yet these objects seem to have appeared within just 300 to 400 million years of the universe's birth. So what are they? Some experts suggest they may belong to an entirely new class of cosmic phenomenon, perhaps dark stars or pre-galactic structures powered by physics we don't yet understand. If that's true, then the Webb telescope hasn't just spotted something unusual, it's found evidence that our cosmic rulebook might be missing a few chapters. And if this trend continues, scientists may have to reconsider not only how the universe began, but also what might have existed before it did. If this is proof of another universe, hit subscribe before your evil multiverse twin does it first.